Wake Forest lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. There's a fumble picked up by the defense. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. That's a tough break, but he's going to get another chance today. What I want to see is if he'll change his running style after losing the ball like this. So the offense will come out for their first possession. Good field position for their first possession of the ball game. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. The halfback with a carry. Good outside run there. Tackle made at the 15-yard line. That was not the greatest decision to throw into that tight coverage. But he knows his receiver has unbelievably good hands. Having a target like that can be empowering for a quarterback. Big hit there to stop him. Game one on the that brings up second and nine. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he tackles him hard at the nine-yard line. Number 27 on the tackle at the nine-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. Mike nine, Mike nine. Hey, Q, kill, kill, kill. Yellow three. Where? They bring the quarterback down. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Wake Forest could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and he got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Wake Forest's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's taken down at about the 33-yard line. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. He's going to try and scramble. Going long. Let it go, and it's caught for the touchdown. He's a nightmare to try and cover, and he showed you why right there. His speed just melts coverage schemes. He 
He makes the PAT. A four-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. And they can forget about returning this one. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down around the 28-yard line. He's to the 40, and they make the stop at the 42-yard line. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question, when you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. Tackle around the 50-yard line. Gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Mike nine, Mike nine. Hey, we gotta, we gotta get this. Red, two. Green, Hands it off. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. They're about four yards away here on third down. They'll bring him down at about the 45. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. And he's tackled around the 44-yard line. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Throws in a hurry. It's complete. That was a great route by the receiver. It started out looking like a streak, but in reality, it was going to be a corner route the whole time. Nice job of beating the zone coverage and getting the first down. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. That's a gain of 11 on the play. Tight, tight down, tight first down. down. The 10. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. That's good for a game of 11 yards. That makes it first and goal. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Here the receiver needs to do a better job of holding his blocks on the corner or there's no place for the ball carrier to go. They bring him down in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. We've got third and goal. Ball on the 11. And down he goes around the two-yard line. He gets it up, and it's good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. North Carolina, up a point. Hey. 
And he's hit before he can go anywhere. A long way yet to go, but at the end of one, North Carolina's up by one. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Tackle after decent pickup. in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. Just throws this one away. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Great job here in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. That'll make it fourth and ten. ten. at the 17. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Gets it out quickly. He's tackled around the 38-yard line. Number 74 on the tackle at the 38-yard line. First down. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. They pick up a few yards there on the pass. And I'll tell you what, that fake handoff froze the secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice gain that time. Good call. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll have a chance to take a second look at it and determine if he really was in bounds when he caught the ball. Well, the side judge was standing the right way. there, the so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. So after some discussion, the call on the field stands. From their own 49-yard line, first down. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. And he just gets rid of it. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Red two, orange three. Throws to the back. Oh, he dropped it. That's going to bring up fourth down. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Booming kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. North Carolina is up one. And they get the sack. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Stingray! Stingray! 
He's out to the 30. Quick throw. Tackle made to the 38-yard line. He gets to 100 yards receiving with that grab. Yo, this guy continues to make plays, and what this can do is force the defense to have to double-team. And if a defense starts to double-team a wide receiver, it opens up avenues for other wide receivers and also the running game to try to exploit the defense. And we're still in the first half, so there's a lot of time left for this kid to build on those statistics. Big opening. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That makes it second and eight. Quick strike and he drops it. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. Taken down around the 32-yard line. North Carolina with a one-point lead. And he's tackled after positive yardage. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it second and eight. Two down, two down. Hey, look, 48. Hey, come on, Mike, the 48. Right now, let's go. Check, check, check. 200. North Carolina is going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's the 11th play of the drive. He was covered and still caught the ball. Yeah, this guy has got the balance, control, and just great instincts when it comes to catching the football. Good-looking athlete. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Hey, look, 48. Ready. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. Call it a game of two yards. That'll make it third and one. Scrambling around. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. You know, he was looking and looking, and he finally said to himself, you know what, I'll just take this thing myself. Nice decision making. And he tacks on the extra point. So a 13-play, 81-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 25-yard line, second down. He heaves it deep. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. Setting up the play action. 
throws it, and oh, he dropped it. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision throwing into coverage. He needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. We've got second and goal. Ball on the nine. And he is drilled at the one. Demon Deacons on this. They're going to call their second timeout. Show some moves and he's in. That is great, tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two point conversion. And they won't get the two. A five-play, 75-yard drive. And they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass, just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That's a loss of five yards. That'll bring, That'll bring up, up second, second and 15. 15. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. North Carolina holds just a two-point lead. White 80! White 80! the throw and I don't think he got anything on that we've still got a half of football remaining North Carolina is leading by two glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. and. You know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground, and which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Great first half and a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. He's in trouble. Can't wrap him up. Keeps a foot in and pulls it down. A good look and pass that time. Well, here they do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver. He shows you that he not only can turn on the Jets, but he's got pretty decent hands as well. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Got it. 
Complete, and he's out of bounds. That's good. Four down, four down. First Mike down. nine, Mike nine. Bang L, bang L, bang L. Check. And they make the stop right around the 26-yard line. That brings in second and one. He's got an opening. He's taken down at about the 17-yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 17. Mike 9. They'll bring him down at the 20. I, I think calling the plays, you've got to be aware of this guy. He's making too many plays. And when he's that close to the line of scrimmage, defending the run, not allowing your running back to even get up to the line of scrimmage, you've got to do something to make him pay for that. If he's going to cheat up to the line of scrimmage, if you're calling the plays, listen up. This is a great time to go play action and try to throw the ball right over top of his head. Slings it inside the 10. And he's tackled at about the seven yard line. Number 27 makes the tackle at the seven yard line. That makes it first and goal. Watch the curl, watch the curl. Easy, easy. Finds his receiver, touchdown. Fired it out to his wide receiver, who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Wake Forest is up by four. Black five, black five. They don't get it. So the two-point conversion is no good. Here they try to put the ball in the air. Unfortunately, they were unable to convert. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Wake Forest's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Here's a screen to the wideout. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. Number 15 on the run. Call it a gain of four yards. Third down. Runs outside for a nice game. And down he goes around the 39 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds at the 48-yard line from their own 48-yard line. First down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch.
Complete. Tackle at the 12-yard line. In the middle and nothing there. That makes it second and ten. Around the four yard line. This should be an easy field goal. The kick is up, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in this third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and to come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. I, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Wake Forest, up the points. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. From their own 23-yard line, it's third down. Got a man, watch out here. Brought down around the 31-yard line. get this one off and it's a beauty whoa he just took a lick it that's three down and one to go Wake Forest up by one into the fourth quarter now and we're back to the action this is a pretty crucial series right here with things being so tight your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball stepping up in on the throw he caught it tackle made at about the 47 yard line And they get him in the backfield for a loss. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. From the 48-yard line, second down. Got a receiver, and he dropped it. Got it. And he goes down quickly. 
So they're going to go for it here. That'll make it fourth and six. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Receiver's got it on the screen. And he's taken down right around the 20. Makes it out to about the 17 yard line. That's good for him. Three yards. That'll bring up third and two. Good job. Green 90. Regular, regular, regular. Motion, motion, motion. Motion. That's not going to keep the drive going. Good, solid defense there to force them into a fourth down situation. They'll line it up for the field goal. Let's go, let's go. Kicks away, and it puts the uprights. And so they take the lead with that field goal. Big time kick late in the game. That was a clutch kick to put them up on top. Nice kick, plenty of distance. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop at the 41-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Nice run, and he's brought down. That'll bring up second and three. Just under three to go in regulation. He's hit and taken down. He's going to air it long. Can't make the grab. Number two, the intended receiver. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. And he hits him hard at the 46. And that play was snuffed out from the get-go. You're right. It's a delayed handoff to the tailback, and the defense wasn't fooled at all there. Got hit and still completed it. Knocked out of bounds at the 41. He doesn't want to touch back here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. That's a great tackle at the 12. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He's got it with room to run. Out of bounds around the 18-yard line. So they go to the air and pick up six. You get six yards, and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable. From their own 18-yard line, it's third down. Going long. Almost picked off. Number five was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and 12.
booming kick. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Demon Deacons on this have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. Let's go! He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. Spikes the ball. To get back in this game in the fourth quarter, this third and long is huge. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. He scrambled, and he's level at the 38-yard line. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He's on the run. Decides to slide. Slides on the play. Gain of seven on the play. That makes it third and three. Three down, three down. 25, check 25. Check two. Check. Yellow three. Check three, check three. Check three. Yellow check three. three. Kill, kill, kill. Gunner three. Hit. Immediately tackled. Easy, easy. Flair. Flair. That makes it first and ten. ten. Red two. Ah. He launches one for the end zone. Picked off, and that's going to wrap this one up. There's a missed tackle, and that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. Wake Forest's called their final timeout. North Carolina is up two. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, North Carolina 20, Wake Forest 18. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.